What's up guys, it's Profit, and this is going to be a video on what I recommend to bring to an airsoft war. I've been airsofting for about almost five years now, so I've come across a lot of different gear, tactical gear, guns, and you know, what I recommend, what you can do for basics. But I'm also going to be including some other things that maybe the average player will not be including as well. So let's begin off with a gun. Now since this is a basic video, if you have, don't have a gun, I recommend it getting a lower end gun to begin with. Now people are like, oh, airsoft is too expensive. Well, it's not because we do have people in my airsoft group personally that do not have guns, that kind of borrow guns. It's not as much of a problem now, but really you can go out and get this thing. This is a GNG combat machine. This thing is $150 without this rail system, of course. A great starter gun. It's not that hard to go get one. Now on the higher end of the spectrum for advanced players, there are guns like gas blowbacks. This is a gas blowback MP7. This means that it's you know, gas blowback. It runs off of gas, has recoil, has bolt catches, just like a real gun. It's really cool. This runs about $250. Now I have my Tokyo Marui AK-102. This is the like premier top of the line gun. And also bring multiple guns to the wars. Like let's just say my Marui broke. Got my MP7. Let's say my MP7 broke. I got the M4. You know, it's just always be prepared because airsoft guns are almost like cars in the matter that you're going to have to fix them up, tune them up to get them to be better. And they do break along the way. So, yeah. Now, a secondary. A secondary is always nice just in case your primary goes down in the middle of a gunfight. You can pull out your pistol, shoot a couple guys, you know. They usually only hold about 15 to 25 rounds depending if it's a single stack magazine like this or a double stack magazine. But I do really recommend getting a secondary. They can be useful. They are very cool. Usually they are gas blowback and the mean that the slide will come back, bolt lock. It'll be cool. Very recommended for coming to an airsoft game, but not also necessary. Bring extra mags, you don't want to run out of magazines, and also, more the merrier. Now moving on to tactical gear, I have a chest rig right here. Chest rigs can hold your magazines and stuff like that with mag pouches like right here. I have AK mag pouches right here that also hold pistol magazines, and with a chest rig that has molly space, you don't always need to get a play carrier. If you are into Milson, get a play carrier, but if you aren't, I definitely recommend this for the average airsoft player. They run around $30. This one was $28. I do believe it was made by Contour or Condor. And it suits you well. It's lightweight. I know a lot of airsoft players do postpone getting a chest rig, but it really does help. It just makes your life 10 times more easier. Now, the most important part of airsoft is to bring safety gear. These are mesh goggles which protect your eyes from getting shot out, which you don't want to lose an eye over a sport. Yes, we all love it, but it's not worth it in all honesty. So I'd recommend getting goggles like these. I like these because they do not fog up. There are also your goggles with the full seal eye protection. You got face mask, paintball mask. It all depends on your field regulations. Now moving on to more protection of your face, you can get a Shamog. They run around $10. It can protect your face from getting shot with your glasses above which will give you a full seal kind of all over your face or you could just protect your neck like this because getting shot on the neck is not fun. Next I have a two-parter, a rigger's belt which could also be replaced with a battle belt. They just hold something that will go around your waist like I have on here which is a dump pouch. Dump pouches are used to put your mags, maybe other tools and accessories that you want to put in here. Very, I'd say get this to be honest or have a setup like this because it's very basic and very lightweight and you know low profile. Now as you see I'm wearing this 10 BDU. It's always nice because you can get the drop on your enemy if you can blend in with your surroundings. Now I got a top BDU but I also have these pants. You know, I, they're usually a little bit pricey, but they are worth it, especially if you get a color that blends with your surroundings that you play at. Furthermore, gloves. Gloves are such a relief in all honesty because they protect your fingers from getting shot out. Now, these are $80 Oakley gloves that the U.S. Army uses, which I got because I think that they look pretty damn sweet. I want them for authenticity and I also do like these carbon fiber, fiber knuckles. You don't need to get $80 gloves to protect your fingers for airsoft purposes. You can just get $20 mechanics, something like that. Just protect your fucking fingers because it does get hurt when you get shot in the fingers. I've gotten shot one too many times so I was like, I'm gonna get these. 
Also something that not everyone runs on their rig, a hydration carrier. Hydration carrier is a very, 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 very liable option to keep you on the field for long. Keep water in your system in a lightweight and compact way. It also acts as a backpack. Just fill up, you got a gallon of water right there. Now ending off on the gear, we have combat boots. Don't play airsoft without boots because they help you, especially get ones with ankle support. I got these at my local army surplus store. You can find similar ones, maybe at yours or maybe online, stuff like that. I would just recommend ones that go high up that have good ankle support so your ankle does not twist all around when you're running that will support you and of course will not come untied. You probably don't want steel toes because that could hurt your toes after a while from running and stuff, but just something that will help you. You can get in the mud all dirty and shit and it'll just be there and a viable option. Moving on to more miscellaneous stuff, a gun bag. Gun bags are also very nice because you can keep your gun concealed without having to carry it around which blatantly, which could get the cops called on you, which it would be bad. They're usually around twenty to sixty dollars. This one's like a thirty dollar Echo One. One that can carry your mags, carry your gun, less weight on your shoulders, and everybody's happy. Now, obviously, batteries bring more than one because I have my lipo right here. I have a regular NIM battery. I'd recommend bringing two to four batteries to a war, depending on the length, because. Who wants their gun to maybe die because of some discrepancy when you were charging your battery and then you can't play, you know? So bring multiple batteries and also your charger. You might want to bring your charger just in case your war is maybe an indoor or maybe an outdoor with uh, sockets uh, so you can charge it there. Going along with the gun bag situation, a duffel bag is what I use personally. It can carry all your stuff. Just get one over by an Army Navy surplus store. It's huge, it holds a lot of things. I prefer it over a gun bag because you can carry more. Now, of course, your BBs. Bring tons of BBs. It's always useful. You know, you don't want to run out during the game, carry them on you, whatever. Oh, and of course, bring a speed loader. I don't have one on me right now, but speed loader is really nice. You know, fill up your mid caps or high caps or whatever your heart desires. Now, a couple things I do want to say to bring that I do not have on me. Radios, if your teammates have radios, that's, I mean, communication in airsoft is almost necessary, but it's not always necessary. It's just, it really gives you an advantageous position in the game with communication at range. Now, if you guys have any suggestions, put the comments down below, because, of course, we want to help everyone else in the airsoft community, because we all know how it was for starting off. You really don't know where to go. I really hope that this can be a benchmark for people to know what you should have, but also take this with a grain of salt, because the, I'm not recommending bringing everything. This is what I usually bring to my games, which I play bigger games and also weekly games. I've been playing for five years. So... I like having more stuff just in case, but of course you really could go basic or you really could go milsim if you if I suppose. Thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you guys later.